Hey, Motor Man here, and today we're going to talk about how to avoid a motorcycle crash by having the ability to quickly transition your motorcycle from full left lean to full right lean and vice versa. It's a really simple thing to practice, easy to set up, and I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. Cue the intro. This exercise is called the offset cone weave. It's one of the best exercises I know of to practice transitioning quickly from left to right. That is from full right lean to full left lean and vice versa. Here I'm having a student follow me through in hopes that he pick up his speed because speed through here should be 10 to 12 miles per hour depending upon how far apart you have the cones. The quicker you can make that transmission, the better chance you have of avoiding a motorcycle crash when somebody violates your right of way. In this scene from my Ride Like a Pro Experience video, our latest one, I'll explain the exercise to you. This next exercise is called the offset cone weave. It's a series of left turns and right turns. And notice these S-shaped turns or teardrop-shaped turns that the motorcycle must make. The point of this exercise is to feel the bike transitioning quickly from complete left lean to complete right lean. So I pull into the gate, focus on the green, I turn my head and eyes and look over my left shoulder. I want to bring it back to the left before I go to the right. Now I look over my right shoulder. Now I look over my left shoulder. The head turn comes just before I enter the gate. Speed through here, again, eight to 10 miles an hour. The other mistake I see in this, is zigzagging. Instead of making S-shaped turns, people try to go straight to this gate, and now they must turn the motorcycle 180 degrees to get back, and that's very difficult to do. If you just allow the motorcycle to lean and you turn your head and eyes, you'll go through it quite easily. Allow the motorcycle to lean, look the same way as the rider is looking. The passenger should stay close to the rider when making low speed turns. Don't lean on the backrest at this time. The closer the passenger is to the rider when the bike is leaning and turning, the better. This exercise also duplicates a severely winding road. If you don't get your head around quick enough, and look where you want to put that front tire, this is what happens. Now, if that was the street, the rider would have gone right off the road. It's simply a matter of turning your head and eyes as quick as possible to make it between those two cones. The closer you are to the outside cone, the easier. There's no size or strength involved here. That's my wife, Donna, five foot three, I don't know, 125 pounds, something like that, whipping through this course like nothing. She knows how to turn her head and eyes quickly to keep her speed up, and that bike transitions beautifully every time. Here's the exercise in slow motion. I'm turning left, and I bring the bike way back to the left before going through the next gate. We call it a gate between the two cones. The closer I get to the green tip cone, the more room I'm gonna to have to make this turn. No sooner do I turn right, I've gotta turn left. The point is to feel that transition. Feel that bike transition completely from a right lean to a left lean, from a left lean to a right lean. That's very important. You should get used to that sensation and know that nothing horrible is gonna befall you as long as you're above about five miles an hour. The measurements for this exercise are from inside cone to inside cone is 24 feet. The gates, the area between the green tip cone and the orange one, right now are set at about eight feet. The closer you make the inside cones, the more difficult the exercise will become. To really challenge yourself, you could take another cone and put it inside of the orange cone. 
That means from inside that small green cone to the small green cone is now 12 feet. That's very tight. You got to be a practice rider to make it through there. Next person you can see coming up through this exercise using that shorter way is Greg, or otherwise known as Moto Jitsu. He's practiced quite a bit. In fact, he told me he's taken 872 different classes this past year. Okay, I just made that up, but he's taken a lot of them. But as you see here, he's going through it without a problem. It's a quick head turn, and you're almost lock to lock when you're making a swerve like this. As Greg says, get out there and practice, or maybe it's shut up and practice. But either way, the more you practice, the better you're going to get. All this and much more is in the Ride Like a Pro video. And of course, the practice guide to set up the exercises and still just 20 bucks at ridelikeapro.com.